but for sure this is something concrete on the player's mind, in the player's mind. He wants to go to Barca and he wants to wait for Barca. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to discuss about the transfer market and to update you. And today, guys, we touch on Rasmus Hoylund, Harry Kane, Joao Felix, Rafinha. Let's jump into it together. <music> And so guys, important to update on all these stories, I want to start with Joe Felix, this was an exclusive news, an exclusive interview I had with Joe Felix two days ago, Joao was very clear in the conversation with me, I would love to join Barcelona, has always been my first choice, he said, he also added that Barcelona uh, has always been his uh, dream since he was a kid, a baby, so Joao Felix wants Barcelona, and my understanding uh, after the interview is that Joao Felix is prepared to wait for Barcelona. At the moment, the financial situation of Barca doesn't allow to close the deal with Atletico Madrid. Also, as very normal, Atletico Madrid are not happy with uh, these quotes. It's absolutely normal in these kind of situations. We respect that, but at the same time, the player wants to wait for Barcelona. Barcelona are working on the outgoings, so we need time to see what happens on the Joao Felix story, but for sure, this is something concrete on the player's mind, in the player's mind. He wants to go to Barca and he wants to wait for Barca. So let's see what happens in the next weeks. This is not something imminent, but this is something that Joao Felix wants to make and Barcelona are prepared to try some way to make it happen. But again, it really depends on Atletico Madrid, what they will do in terms of formula of the deal for Joao Felix. So let's follow that one, but I can tell you that Joao is prepared to wait for Barca. Important also to update on Harry Kane and to say that from Bayern, the messages coming from the German club are still the same. They want to bid again for Harry Kane. So Bayern will return, Bayern will bid again, Bayern will try again with Daniel Levy. This is the intention of Bayern. At the moment, Tottenham have no communication from Harry Kane of the player uh, deciding anything. They know that he's speaking to Bayern, this is very uh, clear, and Bayern, especially Thomas Tuchel side, they feel that Harry Kane really wants to make this move, but now it's about the clubs. And Bayern will return for Harry Kane. So let's follow that one, but at the moment, again, it's time to wait and see. For Rafinha, guys, I'm receiving many questions from Barcelona fans and Manchester City fans on the rumors of Rafinha joining Man City. Guys, at the moment, I'm not aware of anything concrete, honestly, between City and Barcelona for Rafinha. Uh, we will see later this month, but at the moment, I'm not aware of negotiations between City and Rafinha or between City and the agents of Rafinha. Rafinha still hopes to stay at Barcelona and to be part of Barcelona's squad for next season. This has always been his intention, so let's see, but at the moment, it's true, obviously, that Man City are selling Mahrez to al Ahly for 35 million euros package, but at the moment the conversations with Rafinha are not something advanced or concrete. So we will see on that one. And Erasmus Hoylund, guys. The update I can tell you on Erasmus Hoylund is that Manchester United are preparing their first bid. I told you a few days ago that they 100% agreed terms with Erasmus Hoylund in terms of contract. Now they are preparing their first bid to Atalanta. Atalanta want around 70 million euros for Erasmus Hoylund. Manchester United will include some add-ons into their first bid for Hoylund. They never sent any bid at this point. Uh, so it's going to be the first one. I know there is some report from Italy saying they already made a bid. No, they just had conversations with Atalanta, including some players like Fred, but Atalanta said no. So now it's about Man United making a bid. But why they will make a bid? Because they know that Paris Saint-Germain, if you're following me and my channel, you know, I told you one week ago, Paris Saint-Germain already had some contacts with the agents of Rasmus Hoylund more than one week ago, and they are still in contact on player side. So PSG are considering many options for the attacking positions. They had contacts for Vlaovic, but also for Rasmus Hoylund. This is why Man United knows that the timing will be important and they have to bid. They have to enter officially into the story after reaching an agreement with the player. So Man United want to avoid an hijack from Paris Saint-Germain and they will bid. PSG will uh, keep going in the contacts on the player side. Let's see if they will bid too. But Man United remain the favorites. The player priority is Man United, but it's crucial to reach an agreement, obviously, with Atalanta. So let's follow this Hoyland story. Remember that Randall Colomoni is the other option in the list. 
uh, at uh, Manchester United, but for Hoylund, the bid is coming and he's a priority target. So May United will push on this one and the next days could be important to see what happens between clubs. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on Hoylund, Joao Felix, Rafinha, all these stories. I wait for your comments. Here is always, like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.